<laughs> oh guys let me tell you let me tell you that the devil is a liar please say this with me please say devil you failed you done failed Welcome back to my channel what a wow what a wow <laughs> if you're a child of god you will know that the devil is after us and he's out here like a roaring lion he's trying to steal kill and destroy and um he has <laughs> whoa <gasps> and i'm so excited you guys so as you can see by the title i'm go baby Today's video guys is taken and inspired by the book of Job. It is inspired by Job. Um, I encourage you to read the book of Job. Um, take your time. Take your time. It's deep. And we are reading from chapter 23. If, you, if you're not about reading the whole book, which I, I encourage you to do, just start with chapter 23 and you will see how Job's mind was at and how he was so frustrated by Bupilo, like he was frustrated by life. He was frustrated about what is happening to him. If you don't know, Job was an upright, blameless, good man. And he was blessed. He had a wife, he had kids, he had plenty of everything, of all the animals. He was a ballin'. He was he was good. And the devil went to God and he was like, you know what, this guy just loves you because he's got all of these good things. If he take these things away, he won't be about you. He won't believe in you. He won't trust you. So God and the devil had that discussion. And uh, God allowed. Hear this? God allowed. He doesn't make it happen. He allowed for the devil to attack. He allowed for the devil to do what he wants to do. Okay? He allows. God allows certain uncomfortable things to happen in our lives. And the devil attacked Joel. The, the devil came and he stole and he killed and he destroyed. Literally killed his family. Killed everything. He took everything. That's what the devil does. He yamosha guys yamosha and um, so as you can imagine, Joel was left alone. You guys know the story. And I mean, with his with his three friends. Okay, his friends were there, um, but he was left alone. And you know what I love about the book of Job so much is that Job is so honest with God. Um, if you read it, you'll see how he speaks to God, you know, cries out to God with frustration. He was like, my guy, like, let's talk about what's happening. Let's talk about my situation. Let's, let's have a conversation, like, you know, and he was so honest and I just love his honesty. And he says, he says, uh, he knows the way that I take. God knows the way that I take. And I want this to encourage you today, guys. Listen to me. God knows the way that you take. God knows that you are trying at this life thing. You are trying to be a good Christian. You are trying to get your school together. You are trying. You are trying to live right. You are trying to please God. You are trying to live in the light. You are living in the light. You are going to church not because you have to you go to church because you want to have a better relationship with god you are thirsty for god you want more of god god knows so job is like god you know the way that i take you know how hard i've been working you know how much i've been you know when someone makes me mad and i hold myself oh what can i get an amen when someone makes me mad and i know how petty i can be but I hold myself back. The Holy Spirit helps me and convicts me. And I don't say, like, Lord, I'm trying. I'm trying with this life thing. I'm trying to live by your word. I am trying to abstain from sex. I am trying to not drink so much and get drunk. I'm trying, God. I'm trying to do well. I'm trying. And he says, Shab, you know me. He says, he says, you know the way that I take. You know, God, you know, you see me. And then he says the following words. He's like, when he has tested me, because I understand where I'm at right now. I am being tested. I'm going through a time that is hard for me. And God is working. I like, I like doing this. I've seen that I like doing this. But God is working at me. He's molding me. He's making my character better. He's teaching me. <laughs> and he's like, when you have tested me, because I understand this is the season that I'm in. When you have tested me, I shall come forth as gold. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, girl. 
<laughs> Ciao. Um, I will come forth as gold. And that's what I want to speak and encourage you today, that we are gold. You know, we are gold. We're just in the process of us becoming pure gold. We are already gold. And I, when I read this, guys, the way, the way I want God to speak to me, I, I, <laughs> even if it's one word, I, I will research it. I'll look at pictures. I will, you know, just to get myself within what the word of God is saying. So anyway, I, I read, I read up on gold. Hey, I watch YouTube videos on gold, how it's made. What is the process? And you know, <clears throat> the process of gold is that they go down underground. Let's start there. They go underground. Ne? to the rocks, to the ore. Is that how you say it? The ore. The ore is the guys. It's in Gisi. But it's rock, yabo. That already has the gold inside. And that's underground. That's where they start the process. Let's start with the underground. God takes us down. Yeah? God takes us down. I am down, you guys. Ne? But God is, I'm good. I'm happy where I am. Because God is working. Okay, so the process there is a grind, they I even wrote the keywords. They say extraction, refining, grinding, it's pressed, there's drilling, there is there is burning. They burn the gold the, they say that they burn the gold at one thousand six hundred degrees Celsius. Yo, do you fathom that heat? You know, um that is very, very hot. Um so the gold is taken through that underground, then they take it and then they take it to the next level hey okay? then they take it um above ground now where they are milling it out now then impurities are taken out there's it's a yay i was watching like they like it's a process you know so you need to we need to get this god is removing things out of our lives he is <laughs> adding things that we need you know and at the end obviously then you have the gold you will come forth as gold understand that you are underground now but it's not there, it's not, you know, that's not happening in vain. That's not happening in vain. You are being built to be your better you. You're becoming a better you. Do you understand? Do you understand? <laughs> Who, guys, this message is for someone like it's for me. Is this message for you? Is it for you? Like it is for me? Because, wow. Um, and the, the thing is now, when, you, when you're underground, ne? Like I'm saying, understand that you're underground. Understand where God is, is, is at with you. But now, when you're down there, what is your attitude? What is your attitude? What are you, what is what is your thought process? What is your perspective? You know, what are you thinking all the time? What are the what are you asking? What are the questions? Are you asking why me, Lord? Why do I have to go through this? That's not the right question. Why me is not the right question. The question that you should be asking is, what are you teaching me, God? Yeah, Shahabi, I'm here. I'm being tested. What is it that you're teaching me? What are you adding in my character? What in my... I'm not perfect. I'm striving to be mature. I'm striving to be greater. But what do I lack? If I'm not perfect, that means something is missing. And what am I lacking, God? What am I lacking? Teach me in this season. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me. Be teachable. Stop being stubborn. <laughs> I've been stubborn, guys. I've been there. Trust me. I've been there and it did no it did me no good. I was I've been stubborn. <laughs> Let me just put it like that. I've been stubborn and it did me no good. There are things that I'm learning now that I will never need to learn in my next season that I'm going into. I, I understand that I'm moving somewhere. I am transitioning. I'm, I'm transitioning to a new season and I need to thrive through this. I need to go through it. I need to be present. But when I'm present, how's my mindset? You know, am I negative all the time? Am I complaining? <laughs> you can't complain, girl. You can't complain or the Lord's trying to teach you and you can make it shorter, but stop complaining and allowing God to do what he needs to do. God will never stop doing what he needs to do. You guys, what Joe went through, I, I don't wish that upon anyone. I don't wish that. I don't, imagine now I get married, I have my babies, I'm living my best life. Um, and I'm just, you know, um, I, I, I'm, I'm serving God, you know, where we want to go. You know, you're serving God and you're living your life. And right. And you, you, I, I'm having everything that I've always wanted. Like, and then God just takes that away from you and then... 
<laughs> all of it like like all of it some of you are not in the season okay you will maybe you will get there if you get so if you want to live a life where um god is the one who leads it i want to live a god-led life okay god will test you and i want you to remember that i am gold i i'm already saying that i'm gold i already know that i'm a better person already i'm not a better person but i am because i understand that i'm going through this because i'm gonna come forth i'm gonna come forth as gold so there's a better lisa guys there is a better lisa that is that is that is forming here i've been so excited for this message because it's exactly what i'm going through and i hope it encourages you and to also let you know you know about my channel i want you to know that you are not alone um in whatever you're going through never feel like you're alone like um never feel like you're alone and i want you to trust in god if you do not have a relationship with god i i don't know how you're doing life <laughs> how are you doing it how are you doing this life thing with your own strength with your own knowledge and yeah i want you guys to really um look to god <laughs> look to god and and submit and surrender and give it to him and let him do what he does god does what he does god is god is yay he is supreme he is the author and the finisher of our lives he has the world in his hands so he's going to what he's going to do he's going to do what he wants to do and you need to allow it and what he wants to do is not to break you it's not to kill you i i i love you guys i i appreciate you guys and i'm just happy that i have this platform where um you guys are seeing my growth yeah you're seeing the growth and um yeah to god be the glory to god be the glory forever and um he's good he's real god is real and um he's loving he is so kind and he loves you and yeah <laughs>